Okay, Thursday morning in the kingdom, and there's no beer. But that's okay. They still have last week's beer in the beer store. So it's like old beer. But we always like the fresh beer when it comes on Wednesdays. But it'll be on Fridays. So this is more confusing than Father's Day here in Whoville. I don't know. I got the burps or something. But my body aches. I'm sore because I worked hard yesterday. And I worked late last night. I did more work after supper than the new generation does all week. As they sit on the couch playing their Xbox and saying they're operators and good workers and all that. Yeah, right. You guys are useless. Oh, sorry to offend everybody again, but it's a fact of life. Who's going to take care of us when we get old because the new generation isn't going to do anything? I'll be in the senior's home changing my own diaper or helping out others, you know, because it's just unreal because nobody wants to work. Okay, so enough of that. Let's check the weather here. Okay. All right, I can't see. It's too dark out here. It's minus 11 Celsius, but feels like 16 Celsius, okay? And then on the F scale, it's 12F, which feels like 3F, okay? The yo-yo scale, it kind of works, makes sense there. 12 and the colder, 3, yeah, kind of makes sense. I'll never figure it out, okay? And we plugged in the cat last night. Bad business. So the 1500 watt block heaters melted all the snow off the top of the motor there, or the hood, you know, because that's heat rising, right? And let's see how much snow we got. All right, the staff had these barrels cleaned off. Okay, look, I'm walking and talking and walking backwards at the same time, eh? That's worth a beer right there. Okay, up here, over there, okay. That's how much snow we got. We just about got three quarters of a beer can of snow. That's a lot of snow, but we're not gonna plow it because we're gonna use it to make the sleigh slide a little better. We're gonna try not to plow any snow because more snow is coming and uh, who pays us? You know, town of Whoville is not gonna come and plow the road. The highways department is not gonna plow the road for my 84 year old neighbor. He'll just have to wait till I get the plow truck out. When it stops snowing, I'll be plowing it. Like I tell him, we'll get it done, you know, but I'm not going to plow it once, twice, three times. You know, I do it once and we do it correctly. Plus we make a good video, eh? Because today videoing wouldn't be very good. Plowing, it's too overcast and dark. I don't know what the dogs are barking. Maybe somebody's coming in the front gate, eh? It's kind of funny. I'm getting popular on... TikTok and YouTube, and then the Hollywood gods send me an email asking if I'm busy. Well, no shit I'm busy. You blew me off for 10 years, you know, you led me astray like my ex-wife. Now all of a sudden you want to be my friend again? Maybe I'll play with them. Maybe get a free trip to Hollywood and I can splash around the pool, eh? In my Speedos. I just shake my head at those guys. Oh, well, I better get to work. Got lots to do today. Well, the staff ventured into Whoville to get the gas and jerry cans filled up, or the diesel cans filled up, but the card lock's not working. A computer's fried out or something. So three years ago, when the drillers ripped down the hydro wire, it, you know, at 35, 37 below, it fried out the computer at the card lock. So those drillers are back in town. I wonder if they did something to the card lock again. So it might be a week before we can get any gas or diesel, so maybe the camping trip might be cancelled. Oh well, but the puppy's interested in the skidoo that went into town because it has all new smells. Okay, only two hours to weld up the hitch and weld it properly because in the past we extended the hitch, I kind of booger welded, put no effort into it. I think it's because of beverage. So now I did it correctly. So this is what, four or five years later, we got it done right? And I learned a long time ago, you don't build a hitch perfectly straight and square and everything like that. The old timers laughed at me when I spent so much time because 10 miles out in the bush, that everything went wrong and the hitch got bent. So we just cab these hitches together out of recycled material and we want them to break. Because if you've got six lays pushing and everything goes jackknifing, you want the hitches to break, not anything else. Because you can always weld the hitch back together in the bush. Okay, we had the welder in the shop running, which has got the exhaust pipe up right here. That's my finger. So, so the exhaust from the welder goes up the wood smoke or up the wood stove chimney. So we can't run the wood stove when the welder's running, but it gets the shop nice and warm in here with just the welder. But as you can see, I needed some pieces of angle or plate that was cut at an angle. So I had to dig under the workbench. You always save those pieces because five, six years later, you can use them. Okay, these big bunks underneath the 
sleigh deck here called the swivel bunks and we'll just scroll over here and you can see they're quite rotten they're not holding the deck on so I bought some new ones 12 years ago okay here's the stuff with the new ones we got four of them for $1,000 12 years ago so I wouldn't want to buy them today because I know they'd be pricey but just look at that timber I painted them to make them look good already
Okay, just about 3 o'clock in the kingdom. We can't stop for coffee because we got a lot of things running here. The D6 smoothed right out when you start pulling it good. We kind of took a chance there with the little cat pulling four sleighs on an unpacked ground. So we kind of get stuck. But they sh I plowed the neighbors down to the dirt there. So that's why we have trouble doing a turn. Now I'm going to go out and pull the drag and smooth things out. Okay, we're done for the day. We got the big timber swivel bunks up on sawhorses there so we can work on them when they get cold. The only way to work on that kind of wood is when it's cold. The TD6 known as Laverne is up on the sleighs. We got some video of pulling them through the yard and plus we kind of dragged the yard here to smooth it out. We had an excellent day. Even our Christmas package from Sir Rodney in Winnipeg arrived in the mail. Okay, so we can, in, I'll include a picture at the end screen here because I didn't get a video of it because we went non-stop today. We even worked through lunch to get that hitch welded. All right, time to go walk the dogs, walk the pony, and then drink some vodka and enjoy my chicken that the staff made me. All right, talk to you later.